Today we're going to be making Thai prawns with cauliflower, coriander and lime rice. A lovely light and midweek meal, ready in less than 20 minutes. Let's start with the cauliflower rice. So I'm going to just cut off the end of the cauliflower and then let's take off the leaves as well. All of these outer leaves. And then we're going to slice the cauliflower and break the cauliflower into florets. So let's get rid of all that. Give it a good slice. So this is like a medium cauliflower. Um, that should serve two people. Medium to large cauliflower should serve two people for rice quite nicely. So I'm going to break that into florets and put that into the food processor. Just break it up a little bit, just helps it along its way. There we go, let's do that one. I'll take out a bit more of this stalk. There we go, and this one too. Put it in there. And then we're going to just give it a light pulse until it resembles a kind of ricey texture. And let's switch that on, give it a little pulse. Okay, so take the lid off there. And the consistency we're looking for is kind of like this. So you've got the kind of little grains that look quite ricey. So let's leave that in that for now and clear our sides down a little bit. So much mess coming from a cauliflower. There we go. We'll keep that board out ready for the chopping of the chilies and things later. Just gonna give that a little wipe down. Okay, so next we're going to go for the prawns. Let's get the prawns out of the fridge. And I'm going to skewer the prawns. So we've got 16 prawns all together. Uh, that is eight prawns for, sorry, move that out of the way. Uh, eight prawns for each person. So this recipe is serving two people. I'm going to get a board, go in here. And I've got four skewers going there as well, so wooden skewers or metal skewers is fine. Normally I'd advise uh, soaking skewers before you cook with them, but these are on the heat for such a short amount of time that you don't really need to, don't really need to soak them. So grab your prawns, and we're just going to skewer them through the bottom bit here and through the top bit here. So put them all the way down and we should be able to get uh, four skewers, four prawns, sorry, on each skewer. So let's do that. There's one, we'll just put that on the board for now. If you wanted to as well as a you know as a bit more of a time saver or probably as a cheaper option really is you can you can buy ready cooked prawns. Um, they're only on the heat for about four minutes, so you don't have to worry too much about reheating them when they're cooked already. They shouldn't go rubbery than be cooked for such a short amount of time, but I do quite like to use these nice juicy raw prawns. here. I'll just give my fingers in the process. And that's three. Oops. Obviously if you're buying the prawns with the uh, with the veins in as well you need to de-vein the prawns. Don't want to be eating that digestive tract. Thank you. Last one. we go. So we've got the four skewers there to give my hands a little rinse. And now we're going to put the pans on to heat. So first off I'm going to heat up my griddle pan. Um, so I'm using my induction hob here and I'm just going to join this up here. I'm going to put the griddle on to um, a medium to high heat. The good thing about the induction hob is that um, it heats the griddle really evenly all over. It's like a whole heated zone. But if you're using um, a gas griddle, that's fine too. Just use um, a regular griddle on top of the gas. So that's going to preheat to a medium to high heat. And then I'm going to preheat the small pan for the sauce uh, on a low heat. So let's just turn that up. There we go. Right, uh, I'm going to get some cooking spray and some Thai sauce here as well. Let's get those out of the cupboard. So let's put a bit of um, cooking spray into the pan for the sauce. 
This is a really light, low calorie meal, which is why I'm using cooking spray. You can use oil if you prefer. Uh, and first off, I'm going to add a teaspoon of ginger to the pan. There we go. And a clove of garlic as well. So let's put that through here and squeeze it in. Just grab a knife to get the rest of it there. There we go. Just let that heat through for a minute. And grab a spatula from over here as well. Right, so that should just start heating slowly. Just want it to really release its fragrance, so that should only take a, a minute or two. Um, and I'm going to be using um, red Thai curry paste today. I'm just using shop-bought paste. You can make your own if you want to. Um, I've got a recipe on the blog for a lighter red Thai chicken curry, so I'll put the link for that down here. Um, and it, that, it, that's got a homemade sauce with it, so you can, you can check out that homemade sauce recipe there. But just for now, for uh, speed, I'm going to use the curry paste. So about two to three tablespoons of the curry paste should do it. There we go. A little bit spicy this one, just about like it. I'm also going to add in about four tablespoons of coconut cream. Further cream just because it's a little bit thicker and you only need to add a little bit to it so uh, it's, it's not wasting a whole can of coconut milk. So about four tablespoons of the coconut cream there. In fact, I'm getting the water off there, so I'm just going to pour a little bit of that off because it's uh, the water bit that's coming out. There we go. Fine. Just pour the excess water off there and then we'll squeeze that in. There we go. There's lovely noise is coming from the pan there. Right, so we've got about four tablespoons there and we can let that start to heat. Also going to add in, I would normally add in six tablespoons of water, but just because there was a little bit of um, water in the top of the coconut cream, um, I'm going to add a little bit less water there. So let's go for about three tablespoons of water. And we'll give that a stir. Right, that is just starting to heat through nicely. So also into that, we're going to add um, the juice of half a lime. Just give that a quick slice in half. We'll also add um, a teaspoon of sugar. You can use any sugar for this. I'm using light brown sugar here, but you can use caster sugar, golden caster sugar. Anything is fine, really. Just evens out the acidity of that lime juice and gives it a nice rounded flavor. Also going to add in um, a, about a teaspoon of fish sauce as well. That gives it a lovely salty, salty flavor as well. So about a teaspoon of that. There we go. Right. And then we'll leave that cooking for a moment. Just give it another quick stir before just to make sure everything mixes together nicely. Right, next we're going to um, go for the rice. We're going to do the, start with the cauliflower rice. So I'm going to put this big frying pan on to um, a medium to high heat again. Also going to spray that with a little bit of the cooking oil spray. There we go. And let's get the cauliflower rice in there and cook in. So if you've got any big chunks of cauliflower, you can just take those out, don't worry about it. So let's get my spatula. If you've never tried cauliflower rice, you know, give it a go. It's it might sound, if you're a carb addict like I am, it might sound a little bit like it doesn't make up for rice, but actually it has got a really nice flavour to it. It doesn't taste like stinky old cauliflower. Let's go and put that down there. So give that a little stir through and let that start cooking. Really, you're only looking to, um, to heat the rice through. You're not looking to uh, you know, cook it for ages. It's, it's so much quicker than cooking rice. Um, you want to retain a little bit of bite um, to, the, to the cauliflower there. So that's only going to take a few minutes to cook. Okay, it looks like the griddle it's pretty hot there, so I'm just going to turn it down a little notch. I'm going to spray again with a little bit more of the spray oil, just so that doesn't stick. I'm also going to brush the, uh, sorry, I'm going to spray a little bit of the cooking spray onto the prawns. Let's do it for all of those. It just helps to stop them sticking so much to the griddle. 
And then for each of the prawn skewers, I'm gonna give them a little bit of a brush in this sauce. So let's uh, grab a brush there. Just gives a little bit of extra added flavor to those prawns. Let's put that one on. And these prawns, they should only take about, about three minutes to cook, about one to two minutes on each side, really. So you're just cooking them until they turn pink. That's it, that's when you know that they're ready. So let's brush this one. Okay. And last one going on there. There we go. I'm also going to uh, just turn this heat up a little bit because I want it to start bubbling, really. So let's give that a little stir. And I'm gonna just move the cauliflower rice around a little bit. See, there's quite a bit of heat coming off that now. We'll add in a few extras for some added flavour in there in a second. Right, that sauce is now starting to bubble, so we're all going on here. We've got all our, our hobs on the go. And that should start bubbling in a second. So, while the sauce starts to bubble and the rice is cooking, I'm also going to throw some coriander into that rice as well. Just tear it in there. You know, you can chop it, you can tear it if you like, but it just adds a nice little bit of extra flavour to the rice. Okay, that's starting to bubble nicely, so I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Let's check those prawns as well, make sure we don't want them to, uh, to burn, but they're just starting to turn pink. Little bit of char on there, perfect. There we go, so that'll only take another minute or two. Okay, and I'm going to um, Give these another little stir just to stop it going too brown. You know that the rice is done when you start to see parts of the rice going brown. It's just a few little bits there going brown. I'm going to add in a little bit of lime juice and I'm also going to add in some salt and pepper as well. So let's go for some lime juice in there. Lovely. Pinch of salt and pepper. Adds to the flavour. There goes the salt. There goes pepper. And let's give everything a little stir. That rice is so close to being cooked, probably just another minute. And you can smell the coriander coming off there as well. It just smells really good. And the sauce is bubbling away nicely here. So we're pretty much ready to serve. Um, what I'm gonna do is just slice up a few chilies to go on at the end. So I'm just gonna nip over here, grab red or green chili, Whatever you like, let's move a few things out the way. Bit of a messy one when you're cooking so quickly. Give this knife a little wipe from the cauliflower. And then let's just get a few slices of chilli just to throw on at the end. I do like a little bit of heat. These are, I think they're Fresno chilies, but you know, you can use Thai chilies. Use whatever chilies you like, really. Jalapenos. That should do, that should be enough serving on top. So let's give the rice a little quick stir again. Perfect, right, so you can see um, it's just started to brown a little bit. Got a few little charred bits and the prawns are looking good as well. I can still see a little grey bit on that one so I'm just going to turn it over, double check and that is really close to being done. They're looking lovely in pink. Okay, I think we're about ready to serve up. How quick was that? I think that was about 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. So let's wipe down the side first and then we'll uh, oops, grab a couple of uh, there we go. grab a couple of bowls and serve up. Two serving bowls. Let's turn off the heat on everything now. Those prawns are looking fantastic. Everything just smells so spicy and amazing. Right. And that's it, we're ready to go. So I'm going to grab a serving spoon and serve up the rice first. Just lightly browned, loads of flavour on there. You can always add a touch more lime juice, a little bit more salt and pepper if you feel like it needs it. That's looking pretty good to me though. Let's go with the other bowl as well. Scoop that in, try not to get rice all over the place. Okay, and then we're going to take the skewers, so 
They're still, like I said, they've only been cooking for a couple of minutes, so the sticks shouldn't be too hot, but just be careful when you're taking them off the griddle, because that griddle is really hot. So I'm going to put two of the skewers on top of each of the uh, piles of cauliflower. Give that sauce another little stir. Another one here. And another one here. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. It smells amazing. And then let's drizzle over the sauce. So the sauce is quite um, quite a light, thin sauce. If you want to thicken it up, you can also always use a little bit of cornstarch slurry. So um, corn flour, cornstarch. Just mix about a tablespoon of that with about a ta uh, three tablespoons of cold water and stir it in. And just slowly add it in when you're stirring if you want it to be a little bit thicker. But I quite like the way this kind of sinks in um, to the rice and then the rice cauliflower rice really absorbs the flavour. Pour a bit more of that over the top. Some on here as well. There we go. And then we're just going to finish off with a little bit more coriander. Let's tear a few leaves off there. There we go. And um, a few chopped chilies that we chopped earlier. Let's add those in. And there we go, ready to go. So that is my coriander and cauliflower rice with Thai prawns. It's a really great weeknight lighter meal. It's less than 300 calories, so uh, really great. So you can uh, save all the really naughty stuff for the weekend.